The table below summarizes results from 975 pedestrian deaths that were caused by automobile accidents. If one of the pedestrian deaths is randomly selected, find the probability that the pedestrian was not intoxicated or the driver was not intoxicated. Hmm, so how do we go about solving this problem? Well, the first thing that I notice is the word or, and that becomes a key in this problem. When we talk about two sets combined with the word or, we know in mathematics that means union. So I'm going to be talking about the probability of the union of two sets occurring. So let me write that down. So I am going to be looking for the probability that the pedestrian was not intoxicated. So pedest, pe, pe, oh, I'm spelling it all wrong here. Pedestrian, not intoxicated. So I'll write that as pedestrian, no. Together with the cases where the driver was not intoxicated. So I'll write down driver, no. Now, how do I get that probability? How do I get the probability that I select an element from that union? Well, first I have to count the number of elements in that union, and then I have to divide that total by the total number of possible pedestrian deaths. That's what's gonna give me my probability. So the total number of pedestrian deaths are 975. That's my denominator. For the numerator, all I have to do is get the union or the number of elements in the union. So let's start with the first part where the pedestrian was not intoxicated. If we look at our chart, we notice that the pedestrian was not intoxicated here in this column, this second column. That means that there are two box I wanna, box, boxes that I want to focus on. In the first box, there are 66 pedestrians that were not intoxicated. And in the second box, there were 611 pedestrians that were not intoxicated. So I have to add those two elements up to start with for that part of the set. Now the union also includes all the cases where the driver was not intoxicated. So that occurs here on the second row and so I look at the elements in the second row, and I have to include those in my union. So in that first box, we have 237 elements, or 237 pedestrians that need to be added to this union, into this union. And what about that 611? Well, I've already counted it, right? That 611 is an intersection amount. I don't need to count it twice to get the total number in my union. In fact, I don't want to count it twice. So to get the total number in my union, I simply take 66 plus 611 plus 237. So if I add that up, I get that there are 914 total elements in that union. When I divide that by 975, that gives me the probability I'm looking for. 914 divided by 975 represents the probability that the pedestrian was not intoxicated or the driver was not intoxicated. And if you want to get a better idea just visually of what that is, that would be approximately equal to, if you pull out your calculator, 0 0.93743500. If you like 93.7%, right? Anyways, that's our probability. My open math will take it as a fraction. And if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to reach out and contact me.